So you probably clicked on this video because you want to remove people from your photos. Or you just don't like people. Whatever the case might be, let's get into this tutorial. One of the things you probably want to have is a photo go from this to this. Or go from this to this. First things first, let's go into Lightroom. As you can see here, I have two photos that you just saw, but before I have even started to touch on them. As you can see, they are, those are raw files. I didn't touch anything here. As you can see, in this photo, you have someone swimming here and maybe here. There's someone here, but you don't really see that. So let's say this person, this person, and this one, you don't want to have them in your photo. And for this one, it's gonna be a much longer process. As you can see, there's many, many more people in this photo. But let's say we want to have this without the people here and without the people here. The thing is, you would think you would have to go on a Photoshop or something. You can actually do this all in Lightroom and the end result is very good. First thing you want to do is actually add a color and you know, you want to color grade and do all this stuff that you would normally do. You want to have this photo look the way you would want to before you cut out the people. But to make this simpler, let's go to my presets. If you don't know how to install presets, there's gonna be a video right here, right now, how to install, use, presets and the tutorial is based on my free preset pack that you're gonna find in a link down below in the description. And here let's use for example the summer blue and green that I made for the preset pack. And let's say I like this look, let's say this is the final product that I want to do. And by the way the summer blue and green preset and other presets that I have right here are like I said in the description below, those are the paid presets. Okay. So let's say this is the final product of this video. It's gonna be really easy, this this is like a simple thing that you do. The basic thing between those two photos is the complexity of how many people and how much there is to cut out. For example, here we're gonna just use this spot removal. Let's go with the heal tool and let's say we want to expand this a little bit. Let's say we want to have this guy disappear. All we have to do is this. As you can see, it is gonna pretty much replace this spot with this, a copy of this, and heal it. And the same thing applies to these spots right here. As you can see, there is someone there. I can make this even smaller, so even easier to hide, as you can see. It is pretty much doing auto. If, for example, this doesn't work the way you want to, and let's say you need it in this spot something more of this color, all you have to do is drag this, and it's gonna try to apply this. But because it's a heal, it's gonna actually try to use the color around it and the, the place that are that we're selecting. If we were to do clone, you would see it would just transfer and clone this. But we want to have this. It's much better, much smoother. And same thing applies to this person here. We can do this and should be good to go. Let's look at this photo. I think it's great. You can always find more people. Like for example, I think this is a person. It might be a person. I think those are heads too. If you wanted to, you can actually do a lot more and fix like those here. So as you can see, it's already much better than it was before. As you can see, this is pretty much like a finished product that you could add. And how much did we spend on this? We spent about a couple seconds on just choosing a color. I know it's gonna take longer if you're doing it yourself on the side. But let's say you have that done, you just have to pretty much, it was three presses of a button, which is very cool and very effective. But let's now head into this. This one is gonna be much longer. So let's do this one and once I'm done, I'm gonna actually discuss what I have been doing here. Because it's gonna be a lot longer than the one before this. And before we actually start editing, I think this spring rebirth looks pretty good here. But I'm not gonna adjust too much. I don't think it's worth spending time on that right now. But let's just do a little bit of brightening the shadows and I think it's gonna be all good. I think it's not bad looking already. So, as you can see, it always changes a little bit because of the presets, the nature of things. I want to put down the yellows a little bit lower because this naturally seems like this color, not orangey, like it was before. So I guess I'm gonna stick with this color. So now let's get into editing this thing and I'm gonna be back in a second.
And we are done. After a couple of minutes of just, you know, pixel peeping pretty much because we're looking at pixels, um, we have the final product. And if you were to look at this photo right now, I think you would not know that there were people in this photo. But because you saw the before and after, you saw how I was doing this, you saw exactly what I was doing. I was actually cutting out people like step by step. And from here, or seeing the full photo, you might not see where that there were people here, but if you were to look very closely, you can find the patterns where something was taken from. But let's be honest, if somebody doesn't know that there were people here and you don't ask them to look for them, they will never question this photo. This time I did it very quickly, I tried to do it as quickly as possible compared to the first version that I made of this. It pretty much shows you how great of a tool this is, it just basically means the more time you put into the photo is gonna look better. And for example, like I said before, if you look here, this was the before, this is the after, after picking a color and then removing the people. But look how much a difference this makes. This photo looks okay, it's a good photo, but I think the people there kind of take away from this. But this photo, it pretty much makes just F cheeks and just the Acropolis stand out. Nothing else is taking your mind off the two things that you want to focus on in this photo. And like I said, this one is much quicker, much faster to do. This one is much harder to do, but I wanted to show you the capabilities of the spot removal tool. Just remember that to make this, you actually need some material. I had a photo recently where I said I'm not gonna do this because there is no way I'm gonna do it because there wasn't enough material. As you can see, for example, there were people here. What I did was I actually cloned and healed this place with just cloning all the different rocks and you know uh, stairs from here and moving them here and you know trying to attach them to make them look like the stairs are still here and if you see like it still looks like even in a close-up you can still see like there are stairs and things same thing with here I was trying to make it look like it is uniform so that is how it would look like possibly I think this actually adds a lot to the photo like I said it takes more time to do this but I think it is worth the editing time and I think the final product looks very good. But like I said, remember to have some extra space. You have to have extra material pretty much to build this. This is pretty much like building from materials. So for example, people here, I took from here, you know, all the other different rocks. For the stairs, I took from all the other stairs that I could see. If you were to have people all here, like standing and closing all the stairs, there would be no way to do this. And this photo has been edited with this spring, I think, rebirth and just adding a little bit more shadow. So if you want to have that kind of quick editing for colors, well, check out the tutorial that I put in the top right corner of the screen a little bit earlier. Also, check out the link below for the presets if you want to buy them, or at least get the free pack that I have on my website. So I hope I helped you and I hope this is actually something that you can use for your future photo editing. It is a very easy, cool, thing to use and a lot of times the automatic will find a good you know place to replace it with but if it's around just move around try to match it match you know cut and match that kind of stuff and yeah that's how the finished product is but like I said I hope this helped you so that's gonna be it for today but there's three things I wanted to mention really quickly first off if you like the music in this video or in any other of my work there's gonna be a link the epidemic sound down below if you choose to sign up well, there's gonna be a kickback for me. Second off, if you like the presets that I use in this video, like I said, there's gonna be a link below to get them. And last but not least, if you want to support this channel, there's gonna be a link for our Patreon page. And you can get things back, like a handmade postcards from us. So that's gonna be it for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again, and I'll see you next time.